you can usually find Al Ray working hard in his workshop. He's been an artist nearly all his life with a specific love for butterflies. He framed some of his best photos and created some unique sculptures. Ray's most recent masterpiece. The papillion symbol, the monarch butterfly. Ray says Papillion's 150th anniversary is coming up next year, so the community wanted to do a public art project. 80 different artists submitted their creation of a butterfly bench to the Papillion Arts Council. Looked at some of my photos, made uh, uh, this out of cardstock and uh, colored one, and then I also made one in brass and gave it to Benson Machine. He says that Benson Machine Works produced larger replicas. He painted it, and the very first sculpture sits at the Papillion Library near East Washington and East 2nd Streets. It's very bright and stark and striking, and, and everybody seems to like it, and, and uh, it gives me joy to see little kids sitting on it. And more will be coming. We have current 31 sponsors. Local organizations and businesses purchased a butterfly, and local artists were given $1,000 to paint one. I'm delivering these and picking them up. I'm getting to know the artists, so, yeah. And then to uh, have a little story by, behind each one, probably. Yeah. Ray says, although still in the beginning stages, it's a project that's sure to bring joy to people's eyes. I think it builds pride in, in the town. And bring the community together. In Papillion, Naya Gonzalez, KETV News Watch 7. So Ray says he's hoping to have all 31 butterflies finished by April. As each butterfly is completed, you can find the updates on where they will be placed at the Papillion 150 Facebook page. It'll be great to see those.